Welcome back. I'm at the Bear Wiz Enduro near New Augusta, Mississippi on September 11th, 2022. This race is being held in the DeSoto National Forest at the Rattlesnake Bay OHV Trail. We're starting out here with a three mile transfer to the first test section. So I'll take a minute to share some interesting info about this race that was given to me by Mr. Fred Pittman. He's the man that made this race happen. More on Fred later. The very first Bear Wiz Enduro was held 30 years ago on September 13th, 1992. One of the first questions I asked Fred was, how did the Bear Wiz Enduro get its name? He told me that in the early 90s, every Enduro at the time was called the Something Creek Enduro, and Fred doesn't typically follow the crowd. His father-in-law went on a trip to Washington State and brought him back this t-shirt, and the Bear Wiz Enduro was born. We wouldn't be here racing without Mr. Fred Pittman's hard work and dedication, so it's only fitting that I tell you a little bit about Fred. Fred started riding in 1971 and joined the Southern Enduro Riders Association in 1986. Fred is a true ambassador of the sport and he's got a long list of accomplishments. Here are just a few, but he's made tremendous contributions to the sport in general. He shared a lot of stories with me about the struggles of trying to keep riding areas open and his continued efforts over the past 30 plus years working closely with the U.S. Forest Service. The existence of the Rattlesnake Bay OHV Trail is the result of the Mississippi High Point Enduro Riders Club under Fred's leadership, making a deal with the Forest Service with the goal of having a dependable place to host races, plus a trail system for public use. During the Bear Wiz Enduro in August of 1994, part of the trail was inside the safety fan area of the Camp Shelby's air-to-ground firing range. Race organizers were unaware there'd be a live fire exercise that afternoon. There were 18 warthogs firing at targets on the range. Fred said that made for an interesting few minutes late in the race, but fortunately there were no casualties. The Bear Wiz Enduro was on hiatus from 2012 to 2021, but thanks to Fred Pittman and the Mississippi High Point Enduro Riders Club, it's back for 2022 and hopefully for years to come. We're about to start the first 15 mile section, so let's take a look at the C40 Plus class lineup. We've got four KTMs, three Yamahas, and one Husqvarna. The format for this race is kind of a blend between a standard reset enduro and a sprint enduro. We're organized into rows of four, and all four will start on the minute. There are four sections, and while we will repeat some of the same trail in the last two sections, none of the sections are identical. That's Aaron Womble and Jeremy Womble in front of me, and John Holyfield is right behind me. John and I are both in the C40 Plus class and on the same road today, so that'll make things interesting. The terrain here is typical Southern Mississippi. It's sandy and relatively flat, although it does have some rolling hills, but nothing steep. A lot of this is part of a public ATV trail, so it's got some rain ruts and exposed routes, but nothing out of the ordinary. my friend Max Williams. Thank you, Max. He's also in the C40 Plus class, and he recently moved from a KTM to his YZ250FX. There's Robbie Lloyd. He's out here sweeping, helping to work the trails. Xander Tomlin. Thank you, sir. And that's Chris Richardson. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, sir. I've seen a lot of deer in the woods riding a dirt bike, but I think this is the closest I've come to hitting one. Overall, this course wasn't too muddy. There were a few slick spots and a couple of mud holes. I found the deepest mud hole. Dang. It didn't look deep. It was. I completed the first 15 mile section in 48 minutes 31 seconds. John Holyfield was only about a minute 20 seconds behind me. It looks like Alex and Calvin didn't make the cutoff time for that section. Funny, we were talking about stumps getting off the trail. Yeah. 
Oh, you hit one? and a half in, I was over the bars, just oh, dead man. stopped. We had about a 30 minute break in the forest, and now it's time for section two, which is about six miles. This section had a lot of fast flowing trail. It was a lot of fun. About halfway into this section, my radiator shroud caught this vine, and there goes John. He's in my class, so I gotta get going. I can't let him get too far ahead. I completed that section in 20 minutes, 37 seconds. John beat my time there by about 33 seconds, but I'm still 45 seconds ahead in the cumulative time. After about an hour break at the staging area, it's time for section three. This one's about 14 miles. Halfway into this test, I hear somebody coming up behind me, so I move to the right to give him a line to get by here. Wait, that's John. I can't let him beat me again on this section. John made a mistake there and I was able to get back past him. I overshot this turn a little bit. When I looked back, I thought that was John. Actually, it wasn't John. It's Ethan Mize from row 10 in the B Open class. I realized it wasn't John when I heard it was a four stroke. Sorry for holding you up for a minute there. Just ahead, Ethan stalled his bike, so we're playing leapfrog for a few minutes. And that's Micah Williams in the A-Light class. Ethan got his bike started, so he's back again. Looks like Ethan's having a tough time on this section. Completed section three in 43 minutes, 11 seconds, and I was able to stay ahead of John. My cumulative time at this point is one hour, 52 minutes, 21 seconds. I'm about a minute and 10 seconds ahead of John. The fourth and last section of the race is about seven miles long. John started ahead of me on this one, 
Since I'm currently a minute and 10 seconds ahead of him, I don't need to pass him to win the race. I just need to stay close and not let him get more than a minute and 10 seconds ahead of me. I made some changes to this trail in the last half of the race and I missed some arrows to the left right there. Luckily I saw the W's, I just gotta figure out a way to get turned around as quick as possible and get back on the course. So about halfway through the section, I'm headed down this straight trail and I see a bike in the bushes. That's John's bike. You okay? I need water. Man, I, I'm locked up. I can't do nothing. I can't move. All right, I'll send somebody. He's got severe cramps in his legs and I'm out of water at this point too. So the only thing I could do is go try to find him some help. John got help and he was able to finish section four in 34 minutes, 35 seconds. But the cramping issue added about 10 minutes to his time. I finished section four in 23 minutes, 16 seconds. Finished the overall race with a cumulative time of two hours, 15 minutes, 37 seconds. I finished in first place in the C40 plus class. Big thanks to Fred Pittman, the Mississippi High Point Enduro Riders Club, and the Central Mississippi Enduro team for all the work that went into this race. Also, thank you to the U.S. Forest Service DeSoto Ranger District for allowing the Bear Wiz Enduro to return to the awesome trails in the DeSoto National Forest. I've got a packed race schedule between now and November with the Southeast Cross Country Association races getting kicked off for the second half of the season, with several more SARA races as well. The next race on my calendar is the Southeast Cross Country Association Round 7 at Dry Creek in Montevallo, Alabama. As always, if you enjoy these race recap videos, please hit the like button and leave a comment. If you want to further support the channel, check out my Amazon link in the video description. When you use my link to purchase anything on Amazon, I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps me to buy cameras, memory cards, hard drives, and other equipment to keep this channel growing. Thanks for watching. First three miles is free time. Don't go out there and hurt yourself trying to get in a big hurry. If you can't ride three miles down a tank rack in 15 minutes, you probably need to just ride up to the store and eat chicken for lunch or something. <laughs>